2 million kids' voice chats. It's such a nice, wholesome toy. We can't mess yeah, this one up. People may be peering into your home without you even knowing it. I mean, who could have guessed giving a kid a stuffed animal with a microphone connected to the internet in it <laughs> had the potential to go wrong? I had no clue that this is dangerous. And so fun. what happens when a children's toy becomes a target for hackers? In 2017... Wait, they... why, why is it so loud? I've never had to turn down a video before. Parents found out the hard way when this cute teddy bear allowed hackers to invade the lives of nearly a million families. How the hackers got into the teddy bear and the trouble they caused was a nightmare no one saw coming. This is the insane story of how a toy bear leaked 2 million kids voice chats. I'm Visual Venture and we reached our goal of 700,000 subscribers before Yo, the end of this year. Thank you guys a ton and we are just getting started. The ultimate hacking machine. In 2009, something was invented that made hackers all over the world very excited. It was a software called Shodan, and it was going to make hacking a whole lot easier. Although Shodan was dangerous, it wasn't locked inside a secret facility or hidden on the dark web. Anyone could use it, all they needed was a credit card. So what exactly was Shodan, and how did it make cyber criminals hack a teddy bear? Shodan is a search engine for Wait. finding unprotected devices on the internet. It scans webcams, routers, and servers online and checks if the device has a password. Once you click search, it'll bring up all the internet connected devices in Apex, North Carolina. How much did it cost? Uh, was this like, uh, what was it? It's called Shodan? Show, Shodan Rice. How much, how much did it cost? $400? $400 a month? Freelancer, $70 a month. $70. To buy IP address. Let's look at this one here. Many devices connected to the internet have weak passwords or sometimes no, no passwords No, you're never safe. All. Shodan finds these vulnerable devices and lists them, making it easy to know which devices can easily be hacked. Because Shodan is so dangerous, many states made it a felony to use Shodan to collect information about a device that isn't yours, even if you don't hack the device. Shodan but how are they? How do they know? I'm sure an ad break is coming up to tell you about it. But like, uh... How, how do you know? Oh, what was it? Oh, uh, how do they know if you're using it for nefarious reasons? All right, enough. Enough of your bot comments, dude. Don't hack the device. Shodan was designed to be a research tool meant for cybersecurity professionals, researchers, and law enforcement. Yeah, but when it's released to the public. So time, cyber criminals started using it to find targets on the internet. When hackers find a vulnerable database on Shodan, they break in, delete the data, and demand a ransom to restore it. If the stolen data is important, hackers pay the ransom to get it back. Hackers always ask for payment in Bitcoin because it can't be traced. It leaves no money trail. Shodan became so popular among <laughs> cyber criminals that it was nicknamed the hacker's search engine and the scariest search engine on the internet. Shodan made the internet feel like the high seas with pirates looking for ships to capture for ransom. Then in 2015, yep. a simple mistake by the makers of this teddy bear gave cyber criminals their biggest opportunity. A toy for the whole family. This is a- Nah, see like this is the, this is the type of like uh, toy that you'd see like clips and whatnot of uh, people on the dark web getting sold. They'd get sold because they just have a they just have full view of what your what your routine is and everything. The cloud pets doll, and it was described as the best toy in the history of toys. You are. Then he so wasn't happy. a toy. This is the best toy in the history of all toys. At first, it's a plushie. Glance, cloud pets seemed like regular stuffed animals, but they had something inside that made them dangerous. Released in 2015, cloud pets came in four variations, dog, cat, teddy bear, and rabbit. Each doll was 12 inches tall with soft, cuddly fur. Uh -huh. You know, actually, he feels really nice. I'll, I'll give him this for seven quid. Like, even if this gimmick doesn't work, I've come out with a nice feeling. No, I did not have one of these. Twist. Hidden inside each Cloud Pets toy was a small speaker, microphone, and an internet device that could sound. See, what I had was Build a Bear, okay? I had a Build a Bear that looked like a cow. It's probably still in my attic somewhere. But, uh,. No, I never had a toy 
that had a microphone in it. Uh, that was, uh, that predated me. Or, not predated me. Came after me. Send and receive messages. But why would a stuffed animal need all this tech? So the main concept of this teddy bear is so people who are far away from their families can send their families... Oh, no, that's weird. And then the message is said through the bear. Sending messages through Cloud Pets was... No, nah, that's Parents creepy. Or family members downloaded the Cloud Pets app on their smartphones and pressed a button to record a voice message. The message was then sent to the specific Cloud Pets teddy bear connected to that account. The child could press a button on the toy's paw to hear the message and by holding the same button, they could record a reply. That means a traveling parents or a deployed military member could send a heartfelt message to their child's teddy bear at home. To nah, that's just weird. When their child interacts with the bear okay here we go the message we've all been waiting for son it's your father i don't like you anymore when you create an account with cloud pets you give it your child's name and email address photo yeah and yeah email. all voice messages sent through the cloud pets doll were saved in an online database run by spiral toys inc the company that made cloud pets cloud pets dolls were flying off the shelves and ending up in thousands of homes why have i never heard about these what year did these come out cloud cloud pets Pet release? 2017? Oh, no wonder I've never heard of him. Twenty sixteen, I see. Most of them are like twenty seventeen though. Yeah, no wonder. Yeah, it has a camera. Your dad who's far away. Or a lullaby from mom every day. Cloud pets were designed to help parents and kids stay in touch, which was a great idea. But then Spiral Toys, the company behind Cloud Pets, started making some really bad decisions that made them a target for the worst hackers on the internet. Spiral Toys didn't just sell Cloud Pets, they also kept the voice messages and customer details in the database. But keeping that Why? database was going to be a problem because the company was falling apart. Spiral Toys was facing two lawsuits for infringement of intellectual property. Their chief financial officer was convicted of insider trading and their top distributor canceled a huge order leaving thousands of toys rotting in a warehouse. The company also made bad decisions like spending 9.6 million dollars on ads instead of securing their database against hackers. That money was also borrowed from investors. So every time Spiral Toys sold a cloud pet a big chunk of their profit went to paying off the multi-million dollar Debt. The company was so desperate for cash that when Cloud Pets sales slowed, they lowered the price to only one dollar, or in some cases, free with the purchase of another item. Within a year, Spiral Toys lost more than 99% of their peak value, so their stock price was around zero. By the end of 2016, Spiral Toys was a dying business, cutting corners to survive. And then, in but I thought it came out in 2017. They died in 2016. What? Oh, wait, wait, hold on. I got my wrong information. I got my information wrong. Uh, Where? It doesn't tell me. When did they come out? Like, 2015, maybe? It only lasts a year? I don't know. An attempt to save money, they did something so dumb, it opened the door for hackers to come in and ruin everything. The leak. Oh, God. Spiral Toys struggled. They tried to find ways to save money. One of their largest expenses was the cost of storing and protecting their customers' data. Here's where they made their biggest mistake. To cut costs, they stored customer data in an insecure database that didn't require authentication to access it. In other words, oh. anyone on the internet could find and open leak. this database without even needing a password. This was a ridiculous thing for any company to do. Normally, databases with sensitive data are protected by firewalls. Yeah, especially 
data like that. Some companies regularly test their own databases to make sure they're secure. But Cloud Pets did the opposite. They left all their data exposed, like leaving the front door to a vault wide open. It gets worse when you realize how sensitive Cloud Pets data was. The database provided access to the email addresses, family members' names, passwords, voice recordings, and profile pictures of families using Cloud Pets toys. How does it get passwords though? Like I I understand oh wait, maybe a password to get into the app. Cause that's how they would get email address, right? Like names and whatnot can come along with it, but the voice recordings, obvious profile pictures makes sense. So it was all due uh due to the app, right? Five hundred and eighty four thousand people fell victim to this? This included 2.2 million voice messages and details on more than 820,000 users. With this cloud pet, oh, data 500K. hackers could steal identities, empty bank accounts, and even blackmail people. Maybe Spiral Toys didn't realize the danger, or maybe they just didn't care. Parents and kids continued they to send care. messages back and forth through the cloud pet's doll, unaware that every word they said was exposed on the internet. Luckily, cyber criminals haven't found the database just yet. But remember, Shodan, the search engine scanning the web for unprotected systems it was still scanning which meant hackers could find the cloud pets database at any moment it was a disaster waiting to happen but there was one man that could save the situation his name uh, hold on I, I i'm just genuinely curious how someone like how someone like shodan puts out this application or this or this cloud service that searches vulnerabilities why would you release that to the public? Why would you release that to the public knowing what it was going to be used for? Name was Troy Hunt. Troy had a very unique job. He was an independent security researcher and data breach expert. A big part of his job was investigating data breaches and leaks on the internet. Companies sometimes don't notice when their data has been hacked or leaked. When Hunt finds evidence that a company has been hacked, he contacts the breached company to notify them of the problem. Troy even created a website called Have I Been Pwned, which helps regular people check Ironic. if their email has been involved in a data breach. In summary, Troy Hunt was the guy you call when hackers are trying to steal your data. In February 2017, Troy received a message about one of the biggest data leaks he'd ever seen. Someone reached out to him claiming he had a copy of the entire Cloud Pets database. As proof, the informant sent Troy a snippet containing around half a million records of Cloud Pets customers. Troy's first move was to check if what the guy sent was really the Cloud Pets database. Luckily, Troy knew someone who bought their daughter a Cloud Pet, so he decided to check that person's login details against the leaked data. In no time, Troy was able to Bro locate time, this man. person's email address and Cloud Pets password. Troy also discovered more about the person, their kids' names, birthdays, and their relationship with users like your parents, grandparents, and friends were all accepted. What? The data was real. In this case, the data wasn't on the dark web yet. It was sitting out in the open, accessible to anyone with basic hacking skills. Cyber criminals could unleash hell if they got hold of this data. The only way to stop it was to warn Spiral Toys to secure their data, but before Troy could act, he heard something that made the situation much worse. Apparently, the guy who Too told late. Troy about the leak already sent multiple emails to Spiral Toys to warn them, and he couldn't believe what happened. In December 2016, they don't care. They didn't care. The guy sent his first email to Spiral Toys, but the message immediately bounced back. Then he sent another email to a different Spiral Toys address and waited for a reply. Hours turned into days, but there was no response. Four days later, he sent a third email to Spiral Toys hosting provider. Once again, he received no reply. This was more than frustrating. It was dangerous. After hearing the guy's story, Troy realized that sending an email to Spiral Toys wouldn't help. So Troy decided to pick up the phone and call the company. That was even worse because their contact Contact information oh, was a God. mess. Spiral Toys phone numbers went to a man who claimed he didn't work for Spiral Toys or it randomly went to a taxi service in New Jersey. He tried to reach them through LinkedIn, Zendesk, Twitter, and even via private email. Still no response. The cloud no, they don't care. was also dormant. It was like Spiral Toys had vanished, leaving customer data floating in the open. In cybersecurity, there is an unwritten rule to give companies time to fix problems before going public. It's called 
responsible disclosure, but it became clear that Spiral Toys wasn't fixing the problem. None of the Cloud Pets customers knew about the exposed database. This Yo, it's like uh, these uh, these hackers are are like vigilantes. You have uh, you have one week before I release this information to the public. Do it or it gets released meant that their passwords and emails were still active. With over 800,000 users exposed, the fallout could be huge. Then came the last straw. Troy realized the Cloud Pets database was indexed by Shodan, meaning Shodan scanned and put it on its list. This increases the chances of cyber criminals finding it. Yeah. Since Spiral Toys wasn't taking any action, Troy decided to go public. Going public with a data breach can force a company to act, but it can also let hackers know about the unprotected data. It was a risky move but hunt didn't have a choice the moment he went public it would be a race to see who acted first the company trying to secure the data or criminals no, bro it's always gonna be criminals Troy crossed his fingers and blew the whistle he published a blog post about the exposed database and notified tech websites like motherboard and vice once vice shared the story more media outlets picked it up and the news spread like wildfire which is surprising who could have guessed giving a kid a stuffed animal with a microphone connected to the internet in it had the potential to go wrong. The FBI has a warning this morning about smart toys with Wi-Fi and Bluetooth technology saying that they could be dangerous for your kid. Oh. God. Yo, bro. Wi-Fi and Bluetooth is extremely dangerous for your children. You are never safe. Everyone, including those who didn't own a Cloud Pets doll, now knew about its exposed database. The I didn't. The even got involved, warning parents to stop using Cloud Pets dolls. Police recommend if you do have a toy like this, turn it off and leave it in a drawer or closet. No! I hope the media's pressure would make Spiral Toys secure the database before the data was stolen. Unfortunately, it was too late. Hackers already found the Cloud Pets data. Uh, the photos, voice recordings, and emails of more than 800,000 users were now in the hands of cyber criminals. The who would have thought? Who would have thought that criminals would be faster? Who would have thought that? Like... Bro, they can go in there and download all the information. They can download it all and then sell it. Why would they not be first? The thing everyone feared finally happened. The ransom. Yeah, exactly. Cyber criminals found the Cloud Pets database and stole the data. But they didn't just steal it. They went a step further and wiped the entire database clean. In the place of the data was yep. a ransom note demanding Bitcoin as payment to return the data. The message read, your database Pirates. is backed up on our server. Send one Bitcoin to this account and send your IP address to this email. If Spiral Toys didn't pay... Wait, what email is that? So what email is that? It's all Kraken? Kraken? Zero at India.com. <laughs> no, what? <laughs> Kraken. <laughs> This email. If Spiral Toys didn't pay up, the data would be gone for good. Or worse, it They're could not be gonna sold pay. to other hackers on the dark web. Apparently, three different ransoms were left by different hackers who each stole the data. When parents yep. heard about the ransom demands, they were furious. They called and sent emails to Spiral Toys demanding answers. Why didn't the company protect the data better? Why didn't they tell customers about it sooner? Because they don't care. Questions weren't answered because the company's emails and phone lines still weren't active. Parents took to social media to express their frustration. One tweeted, I'm really sick of these connected toys. If the rock father. If your little one has cloud pets, there's a pretty high likelihood that your data is now in the hands of nefarious individuals. <laughs> Parents were worried about the ransom, but they had a meltdown when cybersecurity experts on TV explained how much damage hackers could do with the stolen data. Since it included voice recordings from kids, hackers could use the recordings to impersonate children. They could scam parents by sending fake messages pretending to be their child in need of help. Wait! They also stole email addresses and passwords. Data shows that 78% of people reuse the same password across multiple accounts, so hackers could use the stolen and passwords to break into other accounts like banking, social oh. media, and shopping websites. That is tech. Using the recordings and piecing together what you want 
and and then like audio like correcting the audio for it and then just like using it against them that's crazy work but yeah everyone knows that people reuse passwords that's why not a single one of my passwords are the same and they're all 36 characters long with special characters Another problem All different. is identity theft. The FBI explained they don't have anything to relate to me, but either child's identity, open credit accounts, and even find their home. In a worst case scenario, hackers could use the voice recordings of parents and grandparents to contact kids, tricking them into thinking that they're talking to a trusted family member. That's These crazy. These weren't far fetched scenarios. They could actually happen if the stolen data wasn't recovered. The hackers were demanding a ransom to return the data. The big question was whether Spiral Toys would pay After no pressure from the media but they can't pay they don't have the money they literally don't have the money to pay them uh, pay off the ransom they're they're not gonna pay them bro viral toys finally released a statement but what they said it just made people angrier parents wanted an apology and a solution but what they got was a series of wait he said pretending to be the parent talking to their parents oh my god that is and old people are so gullible old people are so gullible oh my god excuses in an official statement spiral toys described the issue as minimal and minimal they took immediate action to protect customer data once they discovered the breach initially the ceo of spiral toys claimed that the company never received the warnings about the leak he said the company even checked its email inboxes but didn't find any messages from security researchers warning about the breach that was quickly debunked by troy hunt who repeatedly tried to contact them before going public after saying that the company never received warnings the spiral toys ceo changed the story saying we did have a reporter try to contact us multiple times last week you don't respond to some random person about a data breach but spiral toys yes you do it's victims and it yes you do you go in and at least fact check them you do something at least bro oh my god uh, i get an email i get an email talking about how i've been breached or something yeah i'm gonna go check that yeah, I'm gonna go see if it's true. In a statement published on the Cloud Pets website, the company explained why it's Yo, what's up, customer man? data on an unsecure online database. The company said the unprotected database was being used for a short time during an upgrade to the Cloud Pets app. Also, that exposed database was managed by an outside company, so technically Cloud Pets didn't screw up. This excuse only made them look irresponsible. The public backlash was so strong that Amazon, Oklahoma. Walmart, and Target pulled Cloud Pets dolls from their stores. They didn't want to be associated with a company that fumbled such a serious security breach this was a huge blow to spiral toys considering the company was already struggling to stay in business after getting kicked out of big stores cloud pets ended up in 99 cent stores someone saw it and tweeted all the compromised cloud pets at the 99 cent store i like dude these are shelves of them and they're going for a dollar dude this is a hacker's dream dude this is every hacker's dream how they covered the name with a sticker hoping nobody notices but challenge Spiral videos toys was in more trouble a senator sent a letter to the company demanding answers about the breach there was even a possibility of criminal <laughs> charges depending on the facts of the case so how did this crazy story end paying a ransom doesn't guarantee that the data will be returned so cloud pets never paid it besides Spiral Makes toys sense. was so broke they couldn't even afford to pay it even if they wanted to this also meant that criminals still had the data and could use it in many no, the criminal is going to sell it regardless. Customers changed the passwords to their accounts to protect themselves. While changing passwords was necessary, it might not have been enough to undo the damage. In 2017 alone, more than 1 million children were victims of identity fraud, resulting in total losses of $2.6 billion. Cloud Pets data was stolen in early 2017 and it contained kids' data. Could that be why children's identity theft increased that year? According to Troy Hunt and other cybersecurity experts, 
experts, the Cloud Pets database is making rounds in the internet underground. This means that families could still be at risk even years after their Cloud Pets data was stolen. Surprisingly, Cloud Pets dolls are still on the market. You can buy one. But like, but like, who is buying them knowing that they're just hacked? The whole cloud service of this of this toy has been like hacked. Who who would spend even a dollar buying these toys? Websites and some secondhand retailers have them on eBay. You might even find one at a local swap meet. Prices range from the original retail value of $49.99 to $24.99, or if you're really lucky, one dollar. What do you mean? What do you mean if you're really lucky? Like no one wants these. How are you reselling them for more than they're worth? Like no one wants these toys, bro. Uh, the the whole cloud has been hacked for it. It's over. You, you like record your own voice knowing that someone else is going to have this information. Inc. has completely collapsed. The company suffered data breaches, didn't tell anyone, were held ransom, ignored help offered by researchers, allowed children's voice data to be compromised, and were pretty bad at doing the right thing all along. Maybe it was for the best that they shut down. The good news oh, is the Cloud Pet scandal raised awareness about the risks of internet connected toys. First thing you want to do is really research the product. You don't want to just buy any product. You want to make sure that you know the company, you know where they're storing your information. Troy Hunt gave the- I 1 million percent doubt any parent is doing this. 1 million percent doubt. No one is looking up the brand. If, if they see like some children's toy on TikTok shop, they're going to buy it, bro. Like, it just doesn't make sense. You're you're never gonna know whether that uh, the brand of toy that you're buying is gonna have an insanely, uh, easily hackable cloud-based data storage whatever unit that just allows people to steal all your information from. There's just no way to know that until it, until you've already. It's too late the best advice on this issue he said if it's connected to the internet you can't treat it like it's a child's yeah. play thing there are very real risks involved whenever data is uploaded to a server even if it comes from a toy it's up to us to be aware informed and careful in this yeah, it's up to parents connected world visual venture it's 100 percent up to the parents to decide that and you know how we uh see parents today yeah W video man. Oh, that's crazy. Can't believe it. they just didn't bother paying the ransom. Like I know that they couldn't afford it, but like they're already pouring uh pulling loans out in advances for ads. Why why would they not uh, why would they not just pull the money out for for their their whole storage? So stupid.